I think if you are starting to apply, like in that you know, early stages, career path, going through all those prerequisites, all those things, I think 35 would be my cutoff. You know, I get that question a lot. You know, Justin, is the tuition worth the amount of salary that you're gonna make? And I tell them straight out, just like I'm telling you, it's not worth it if you're after the money. But if you are... So here's a big question. When are you too old to apply to physical therapy school? A lot of students will apply to PT school right after college, so like 21, 22 years old, but there's a big chunk of students that change careers and pursue physical therapy later on. So maybe they're around 25 to 28 years old, but of course we got those people who just take a little bit longer and apply a little bit later. So when is it too late to apply to PT school? We're gonna answer that question right now in this video. What's up you guys? My name is Dr. Lee for a change. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into PT school. I'm super passionate about helping students get in. I'm working as a physical therapist right now. So I'd love to give my insights to help you get a better application to stand out and get accepted. So we're asking, when is it too late? So check this out, the average, about the average age that most students apply and, and start PT school is about 25 to 26 years old. Now we have to kind of think about this timeline for a second because when you're watching this video, you may be in a couple different parts of this timeline. So stick with me. You might be either just starting out, deciding, hey, I either uh, got a bachelor's in something else and did, didn't take any classes related to PT school, so you have to take all these prerequisites and do all of these classes and GRE and all these things, and that typically might take you about two, three years to get all of that good to go. Once you finish all those prerequisites, then you're gonna apply, which will take about half a year to a year, and then you'll start your PT school career, which is about two to three years. So let's just take an example of somebody who is 22 years old, graduated with like a history degree, and decided they want to be a PT student. So then they need to take all those classes, prerequisites, biology, chemistry, anatomy, all those fun stuff, right? And then it's gonna take them about two to three years. So they're 25 at this point, applying to PT school, gonna start at 26 years old. Perfect, that's totally normal. There are a lot of students in the average age, like I mentioned, 25 to 26, that start PT school. So if that's you, and if you're in that timeline, it is not too late. Hold up, wait a minute, let me put my uh, thoughts into this. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Let's say you're um, a little bit older, uh, you kind of delayed school, you graduated, same same situation, history, graduate, graduate, uh, but maybe you're like 28 years old, right? You're, you kind of took some time, and that's totally okay. 28 years old, two to three years to take the prerequisites, that means you're starting, uh, you're applying to PT school about 30, 31, maybe 32 years old, and then now you have two to three years on top of that, so you won't graduate until you're about 30, three, 34 years old, right? So we have some, we have some different scenarios where someone starts really early, early and starts someone late. And now the biggest thing, the biggest thing that you gotta consider if it's too late to apply to PT school is one big thing, is the amount of tuition that you're gonna pay versus the amount of salary that you're gonna make. Now check this out, no matter if you start early or later, I'm gonna be just frank and brutally honest with y'all. The amount of salary that you make for the amount of tuition for most PT programs does not outweigh it. So what does that mean? That means you are not making enough money as a physical therapist for the amount of tuition that it actually costs. So let's just put some numbers into this. Typically, physical therapists will make about, let's just say, $80,000 a year, pre-tax, right? Now the tuition for most programs are about $110,000 or more average, okay? So you can see the cost of salary and the cost of tuition, it, it doesn't really play out. And if you're really in it for just the money, go to something else, because there are a lot of other <laughs> professions that are a lot more lucrative 
but maybe not as fulfilling. Maybe not as a life giving, you know, maybe not as a job where you're excited to wake up and go to work and actually impact the world versus just do something for your own self gain. And if you're the type of person that really wants to help people, that wants to listen and make an impact to people and change their lives, change how affect their lives on a daily basis, then the physical therapy career is for you and it's so worth it. And you know, I get that question a lot. You know, Justin, is the tuition worth the amount of salary that you're gonna make? And I tell them straight out, just like I'm telling you, it's not worth it if you're after the money. But if you are excited and if you're after all those things like I mentioned, totally worth it. So the big question that we're trying to answer in this video, when is it too old to start physical therapy school? And a general answer I would say is it's not, it's never too old. You're never too old to start and change career paths and really start um, into a, a profession that you feel like you're gonna make an impact on this world, right? But if I were to give you a solid answer, I think if you are starting to apply, like in that you know, early stages, career path, going through all those prerequisites, all those things, I think 35 would be my cutoff. Because that means 35 years old, you're going through all those prerequisites, then you're gonna apply to PT school, then you're gonna graduate. That means you're like 40 years old by the time you graduate, graduate, graduate. <laughs> And that means you still have, uh, you don't have that long. I mean, you know, someone who starts at 30 years old has a little bit longer to pay off their student loans and kind of get ahead in life. But you're 40 years old, I mean, you don't have that much time. You're missing 10 years. Unless, unless, a big unless. Before you change careers, maybe you built up a lot of money and equity and uh, investments. And so you have some pocket change then freaking go for it. The only thing stopping you is money, financial freedom. And if you have that, if you have the luxury and privilege to have that, then go for it. You're never too old to change career paths. But if finances are not something that is, uh, you know, you have an excess amount of, then I would definitely say 35 years old would be my cutoff. Hey guys, I hope this video was super helpful for you, especially for you older gentlemen and ladies. Um, you know, that's probably why you're searching this video. Um, right now, I'm currently, how old am I? I'm currently 30 years old, right? So I, when I was in PT school, I started when I was 25. So I was kind of right at the average. I definitely had friends and uh, classmates that started super early at 21, 22 years old. And I also had classmates that were above 30 years old, had a kid or two or on the way, and they are super successful right now. So everyone has their own career paths, everyone has their own experiences, but the trick is how do you bring your experiences in into your application to help you stand out? You might feel a little inferior, you might feel less than because you're starting out later. You might think, I don't, I'm not like the other students and as passionate as all these students, youngins, who are getting into PT school right away. But you know, if you're a little bit older, you're aged and just like some fine wine with age, you are more valuable, right? And I really believe that. And if you can change the way that you change your narrative and sh display your application to help you stand out in that way, write your essay, do your, do your interview to really exemplify those experiences, man, you are gonna kill the game, my friend. So if you need help getting into PT school or maybe when you're watching this video, just kind of save it for later and then later on you can watch it again to uh, get some inspiration. And just to know that I'm here as your PT school admission expert coach to help you get accepted into PT school. All right, everyone, every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Lift for change, everyone. Have a great day.